everybody, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about my cousin's haunted dolls. So this all started when I was about 10 years old, about 10 years old, about 10 years old. I used to always go to my cousin's house, always, you know, love being around here. And so I've always been kind of freaked out staying at her place because there's been numerous experiences I've had when I was younger. At the house, it's just really creepy. And there's been other things that have happened with my cousins at. So it was like just your typical night and I was watching movies and my cousin used to always talk on the phone so she would talk on the phone with her friends and i would kind of you know just like roam around the house watch movies or kind of like spy her and, and see what she's actually talking about yes i was that annoying little kid that used to spy so we would stay up pretty late i think at that time i stayed up till like one o'clock in the morning it was the weekend so i mean my mom wasn't there and my cousin was gonna tell my mom that I was staying up that late. So we get ready for bed, and at the time, my other cousin, she would share the room with my older cousin. And so she had a collection of like all these toys and all these dolls in her bedroom. And the way it was set up, she it was like kind of like a smaller bed, so all the toys were on the bed. And the way the room was set up, there was two other beds. And so my cousin was sleeping in one bed, and I was sleeping in the other bed. And so I remember I was like really, really scared. I just felt there was something kind of like lingering or like kind of watching me. So I had the hardest time sleeping. And I remember seeing like shadows like go across the room. And so I'm like, okay, Jonathan, it's just your imagination. You're saying things. And so I would wake up my cousin and say, can I sleep with you in the bed? And she was like, no, you can sleep in your own bed. 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 So I was just like kept bugging her and trying to talk to her because I was scared to fall asleep. And then so my cousin falls asleep. I started hearing voices come out of the stuffed animals. And let me just tell you, I was freaking out, freaking out, freaking out. I couldn't make out what they were saying, but I just heard all of this whispering just coming from the dolls. And I kept looking over and then I woke up my cousin. I'm like, oh my gosh, someone is in the room. The dolls are talking, the dolls are talking. And she would roll over and she would say, Jonathan, just go to sleep. It's your imagination. I remember looking over and there was a Tickle Me Elmo. And if you don't remember, that doll was creepy. So the doll started moving on its own, but it wasn't actually making the noise that the doll would, I remember it would just like, kind of like giggle. I don't remember, but I remember it was like something like giggling and the doll was moving and then I could hear those voices. I kept getting louder and louder and I kept waking up my cousin. And then I remember just seeing shadows in the room. So then my cousin just said, shut up and go to sleep. So I finally got the courage to close my eyes. And then that's when I saw the dolls were moving, porcelain dolls stuffed animals were moving. I was scared that they were gonna come towards me. I saw them moving, and so what did I do? I put the blankets over my head because I was freaking out. And then I remember just having the covers over my head and then I finally fell asleep that way. So the next morning I was like, ready to go home. I did not want to stay in that room. I told my cousin what was going on and she was like, Jonathan, we know you have imagination. I think you were hearing things. There is nothing going on. We, I didn't hear any voices. So one week later, I was at my grandma's house. It was me, my mom, and then my older cousin, not the cousin I was staying with, but my older cousin, she was there. She stayed in the exact room. She told me, my mom kind of mentioned to my grandma that I was hearing voices. And so they were a little concerned. They thought maybe, you know, Jonathan needs to see a therapist or something's wrong with him. My cousin heard the voices that I was hearing. She saw them move. Knowing that I wasn't going crazy and that she saw the same thing and heard the same thing, it just made me feel like I wasn't crazy at all. So once that happened, my cousin grabbed all of the stuffed animals, threw it in a trash bag and threw it outside. So I remember everyone in my family was talking about what I heard and what she heard and what she seen too. After that happened, I guess the stuffed animals that were given to my little cousin were a family member. They weren't on good terms, but they're, I guess they're on speaking terms. They're thinking maybe she did some like witchcraft or something on the dolls. I just remember I was too young cause I would, I would like eavesdrop, but then I wasn't really interested. Cause it was like my attention span wasn't that, you know, long. So I would just like, kind of like listen and just like, I remember they were talking about that. And to this day, everyone knows that that story happened and I wasn't making it up. 
I just remember after that happened when I was younger, I would never keep any stuffed animals out. I would always lock them in the closet, no matter what they were. I would just like get them out of the room, put them in the closet. I was just scared to have them around. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever had an experience, you know, with haunted toys? Let me know, I'd love to hear about it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. Until next time, bye. Thank you.